What is up, loud and proud crowds? We're actually gonna be doing a video today featuring the Mordecai 12 valve after I get the thing freaking washed because it is filthy. And we gotta run a couple errands and I gotta go put in another food plot at our property for the deer because I didn't get one done because it was a little bit too muddy. So I wanted to have one more 24 hour period in the sun to actually dry out so I could till it again, then plant it because when it comes to that kind of stuff, you gotta do it the right way otherwise, all that work is just wasted and literally for nothing. So in terms of this truck, what we're gonna be doing with it today is actually getting a set of American Force wheels on this. And before everybody goes down in the comments like they always do and say, oh my gosh, what happened to Anthem? Why don't you like Anthem anymore? First off, who told you that we don't like Anthem and that we don't use Anthem wheels? Because we love Anthem and we work with Anthem for, we've actually worked with them for over a year now and we are, yes, going to still use Anthem wheels for most everything that we do. I just wanted to try something different since this truck is so exotic and crazy looking. I wanted to just put something that was like different that we haven't done before on this. It's like a forged wheel and that's literally the only honest truth reason why we're doing this on this truck. And because for the most part, we rock Anthem just like on the little Rosine 24 V here. We just love Anthem wheels. We love working with them. They're a great company to work with. Very personal one on one and they just always take care of us and we've never had a hiccup working with them. So that's why we love doing it. Anyway, so we're gonna get this truck fired up. We're gonna get it over to, we're at, you know, Reagan and I's shop in our house right now, but we're gonna get it taken over to my parents' place because they've got all the air tools over there. And not that we need them because I have all my own tool kits and stuff like that, but we want something that'll just make this quicker and easier and uh, to be able to get these wheels and tires on this thing. Here's Reagan, she's adorable. And uh, we're actually gonna be getting married soon. That's crazy. By the time you see this video, we're actually gonna be getting married in like a week. So that's just, I mean, that's just crazy, super excited. Do not forget guys that every $15 you spend is another entry to win this truck. Shirts, hats, stuff like that, it's another entry to win this truck automatically. Information in the description. First time she's been started in about a week. of fun to drive, I gotta tell you. Here she is on the 20 by 10s, which by the way, these wheels are gonna be for sale for 1500. Um, like I said, tires are brand freaking new. Wheels are brand new XDs. They're 20 by 10s, eight on six five lug, of course, with the second gen Dodges. And then it's got the 33 by 1250 R20 tires, like I said, are brand new. And uh, they're very clean. Um, they're not rough by any means. I mean, they're, they're very clean wheels and tires. Tires are, like I said, are brand new. But anyways, they're gonna be for sale. So today, we're gonna be putting the forces on this. And I gotta say, this is my first set of forces I have ever bought. I'm excited to see how they turn out on this thing. I, I took the wrapping off. They were, of course, wrapped in foam and stuff to protect them, but I unwrapped it. And I gotta say, they look, they look pretty sweet. I didn't go crazy like, 26 by 16 or 24 by 14s or you know anything giant. They're just 20 by 12 American Force wheels with some Fury off-road tires. Give it a nice aggressive, but uh, nothing insane, you know, kind of a look. So let's get these things on and uh, they're gonna look pretty freaking baller. If you look at this truck now, I mean, it's got a little teeny tiny touch of stance, but nothing much. No rubbing, obviously, nothing even close to rubbing with this setup, but um, I think this new look is really gonna look good. I've been moving kind of start no trouble with me Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me Don't pull up at 6 a.m. and cuddle with me You know how I like it when you loving on me I don't want to die for them to miss me Guess I see the things that they wishing on me Hope I got some brothers that I with me Well, about an hour later and I'm back again. I know it might not have seemed like it to you guys because it's only been a couple seconds but I had to go all the way up town to buy one of these because the guy that um, had this truck previous didn't leave one of these in the truck. So I had to go find one all of the way on the other side of town that I could use to get the wheels off this truck. Now we're going to get into the actual um, dismantling of the wheels and tires to get the new set on. Freaking 
There's a parrot on her barn. What the heck? There's a freaking parrot. <laughs> what in the world? You land on my truck. We're having parrot tonight. Still. Bad days. There's a lot of bad days. Well, everybody, we just got the American Force wheels put on the truck, and I gotta say, they do look really, really good. One slight problem, though. The wheels look awesome, right? Right. I got my spiked lugs on there, which I freaking love. Spiked um, cap right there. Valve, valve stem cap, whatever you want to call it. And the one thing I didn't have is the right size wheel cap, which I'm actually really shocked given that, you know, a wheel like this, it's like, are you kidding me? You, you forgot the wheel cap. To be fair though, they did send a wheel cap. It just wasn't the wheel cap. And what I mean by that is this wheel cap is way too small to fit on this truck. Look at the view. Oh my gosh. That is purdy. That is so purdy. But anyway, so the actual, wheel cap for this truck is supposed to be a lot bigger as you can see there's no way it's gonna fit on there now these caps are just plastic if you've never had forces these caps are just plastic and that sound that it was making was rubbing on the actual like hub that comes out not the not the wheel I wasn't scraping it on the wheel the front caps as you can see just a much much bigger size much different it's kind of weird that they would send a cap like that now also you have to keep in mind they were in four separate boxes because all their caps come boxed separately but like the box size was even like half the size i'm like did somebody not notice when they box these up with the wheels that uh, one box was way freaking smaller than the other three but um apparently not however i gotta say though enough with the enough of the negative stuff the thing looks really good oh my goodness i felt like this wheel setup would just really flow nicely with this truck and I feel like the Fury off-road tires really really top off the look and I'm not partial to Fury um, we have no deals worked out with Fury at all I just thought that the look of that tire um, looked good on this application I felt like it really put like a good look to the truck I gotta say it looks really good I backed it out turned it around here and all that jazz and didn't rub in the front backing out and turn it around here I gotta say it does look really good it doesn't help that the lighting out here is just perfect right now this is that golden hour lighting that everybody's always looking for and man this truck just looks amazing i gotta say just looks really really good um and now in terms of the overall setup for this truck and what all we're going to do to it i'm pretty sure this is like what we're doing to the truck and probably nothing else honestly um the only reason why is this truck's already been built so well i would hate to take anything out of place that's actually working and running properly and swap it out with something else if it's already functioning and running perfectly with the power that's been you know put to it because this truck from transmission to engine to everything else and traction bars and everything was built specifically for this purpose and for this truck and so i feel like i would be doing an injustice to take somebody's artwork and just kind of scribble a couple lines on it so to speak and just kind of mess with mess with things but uh it looks really really good and I'm honestly super pleased with the way this thing turned out. And in terms of our wheel cap issue though, they're gonna send us a new one, I'm sure. All that aside, we do finally now have the wheel and tire set up on this truck that was supposed to be on it all along. And I gotta say guys, it really, really does top off the look and the effect that this truck can give you. Um, I gotta say like, even when Mike, the dually winner saw this thing in person, he's like, dude, no justice in the videos. This truck is so, so clean. And he was standing next to his truck, which was extremely clean. And he said that this thing was just, insanely clean he's like i'd never seen anything like it and i gotta say it really is something else you get you just have to see this truck in person to really experience it and to do that all you got to do is go down into the description below enter to win and um you know there you go you got entered to win this beautiful truck 
for basically what you'll spend going through a drive through to buy yourself some junk food. So um, spend $15, enter to win this truck, and you could be taking home the keys to this beast mid-July. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If it did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. What do you think of the new American Force wheels? on the truck. Do you like the change up? Do you not? Do you think the forged look does this truck more justice? What are your thoughts? Leave it down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit the notification bell. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.